Hello crocheters! Today's video is different than what I usually do on my channel, but I do hope some of you will find it helpful. I know many of you watch my channel for the sake of learning new stitches and patterns. Some of you purchase my patterns and come to my channel to watch my complimentary tutorials. And in the past, I've also made videos sharing my journey as a crochet business owner. And some of you were interested in that topic. So today's video is for this last category of my viewers. Those of you who have dreams and aspirations of turning your favorite pastime into a profit-making business. When it comes to making a living from crocheting, there is one harsh truth that is difficult to accept and that is people who truly love and appreciate crochet things are crocheters themselves. If you want to make a living from crochet, not just make a bit of side money but actually be able to pay your bills, forget about selling finished crochet items. You will need to go into the business of designing, writing and selling your own crochet patterns. So if this is something that you are interested in, keep watching because I have one resource to share with you which will guide you and help you reach your goal. Here it is. It is a book called Crochet Your Way to a Buyer's Heart with Amigurumi by Elisa Rose. And this is a complete guide on how to start and run a successful business of designing and selling crochet patterns. Now, the book specifically focuses on amigurumi patterns, but the information and advice provided here can easily apply to any kind of crochet patterns. Now, without wasting any time, I want to cover some points why, in my opinion, you would really want to have this resource. A big part of designing and writing crochet patterns is math. There's just no way around it. But let's be honest, not everyone likes math and not everyone is good at math. And this is probably one of the main reasons that crocheters actually buy crochet patterns. Instead of spending hours trying to do the calculations and figuring out the stitch count, they would rather pay somebody else to do it. I don't remember if I ever shared on this channel that my degree is in statistics. So of course my math knowledge is very valuable in my crochet pattern writing. However, to create and write quality crochet patterns, you don't need to have a degree in math. Guess what? All the concepts that you are going to need, such as multiples, factors, remainder, etc., all of it are exceptionally well explained in this book. This is the first time I come across such well-explained and well-organized comprehensive guide on all the math that is needed for crochet designing. And of course, you can find bits and pieces of it on the internet. There are tons of articles, blog posts, videos. For instance, I myself recently made a video explaining how I figure out multiple of plus, and many of my viewers found that video very useful. But if you want to have one resource to which you can refer for all of your math related questions for crochet designing, this is it. A big portion of this book is dedicated to the actual structure of a crochet pattern. It guides you through how to create a template and what to include into it. And this was one of my most favorite chapters in this book because as I read through it, I was like, yep, I do that check i always include that in my patterns and so on so this chapter was really validating to me i put in my patterns everything that the author mentions should be in a well-written well-organized comprehensive and easy to follow pattern so i kind of gave myself a pat on the back saying okay good job olga you're doing it right my very first pattern i sold in 2014 and since then the way I write my crochet patterns has greatly evolved and most of it was by trial and error and countless interactions with my customers, with people who purchased my patterns when they were saying, 
I don't understand what you mean here. Or when they were asking for additional information that was missing from the pattern but should have been there. So as I look back at myself in 2014, if I had this book, if I had that chapter on how to create a template and what to include in a well-written, well-organized pattern, this would have saved me so much time. If you want to sell your pattern, it is essential that it is well-organized, well-written, comprehensive and easy to follow. And if you can create a template and then write all of your patterns based on that template, all of your patterns will have the same quality standard. And if a customer purchases your pattern, finds it easy to follow, finds it easy to understand, then obviously the customer will be willing to come back to you and purchase more of your patterns. I've been crocheting for over three decades and I've been writing patterns for over a decade and I've been selling my crochet patterns for almost nine years. So I consider myself good at writing patterns. But one thing that I'm terrible at is actually marketing them. Designing and writing a pattern is only half the job. The second half is actually selling it. Marketing and reaching your potential customers is essential to a successful crochet business. And the author puts a lot of focus on that in the book. There are tons of information, tips and advice on the subject in this book. And as I was reading through it, some of it was completely new to me, while others were where I was like, yeah, I know I should be doing that, but I'm just not comfortable doing that. I don't think I want to do that. And it's like if she can read my mind, because the next thing she does is she takes me through these steps of how to push myself out of my comfort zone and start trying these things that could help me market my product and reach my potential customers. So that part of the book was especially valuable to me and I can totally see how it can be valuable to someone like you, someone who also wants to reach your potential clients and be able to sell your crochet patterns. You know the saying, don't judge the book by its cover. To be honest, my expectations of this book were that it's going to be more on the inspirational and motivational side. It's going to talk about all those wonderful things of being your own boss, having a passive or semi-passive income, doing what you absolutely love, and so on, so on. And this book certainly does talk about that, but also this book provides tons of practical information, practical steps on how to write and sell crochet patterns. And to me, this was more valuable than the inspirational and motivational side of it. I greatly recommend this book. You can find it on Amazon. I will put the link in the description box below the video. The book is available in three formats, electronic, paper bag, and hardcover. Thank you so much for watching and until the next video.